What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of SSL by 30. In today's video, we are going to run a couple 2v2 games and then we're going to watch a pro replay and try to identify what they're doing differently than what we do. Okay, so I have not pre-recorded these games. We're just going to jump right in. We've dropped MMR a little bit. We're back below 1600. We're down about 90 MMR. So in theory, these games will be a little less sweaty, but you know, anything can happen. So we'll jump right into it and make sure you stay till the end so we so you can get the pro analysis. Thanks for watching and enjoy. All right, we're going into our first game. Looks like we've got Tactile, Portillo, and Cayudere. Cayudere. So our kickoff, try to get as neutral as possible. We like to start off as neutral as possible as we feel out our teammates' tendencies. Grab a couple boost pads. He's gonna pass to us, so we're gonna just stay on the ball here. Try to get a 50. Steal his boost if we can, we can't, so we're gonna leave. Try to leave. Got bumped by teammate. He's gonna keep possession. That's a bang, so the boost we saw the boost spawn. Try not to pass right to him. Get in his way a little bit. Hopefully teammate goes. Teammate decides not to go. That's okay. We play behind. Leave a boost for teammate. See if we can read this bounce. Not what I wanted to do, but it works. Leave so teammate can maybe challenge. He's going to wait patiently, which is fine. Gonna maybe get a pass to teammate here. I think we waited too long. Should be fine. Tactile kind of saw us telegraphing that. Try not to own goal. <laughs> Alright. Got low boost here. We just need to get a 50. That's decent. Teammate might have a scoring opportunity. Close. We do need to get back. Grab some pads on the way. Not get demoed. Teammate's got full goal scoring opportunity here and he slots it. Good shot from teammate. He cheated last time, so I'm going to assume he's going to cheat again. It's on net. Teammate's got. We're just going to grab pads. Not going to go up for that big boost yet. We're going to go. And we missed it, but teammate should go now. Nice. That's a good beat. We'll right way out mid. Oh, he got demoed. I don't want to blast it into the back wall because teammate's not there. But I definitely want to... He got the boost, and my car's not letting me flip. We'll leave the boost for teammate. He doesn't want it, so we'll take it. Play the 50. He might pass. Now we challenge. It's a little bit off. Make sure we go... Okay. I was going to say, we want to be facing upfield when he attacks that ball. Let's get a control touch here. He's waiting back for us to try to push it more left. They both went, but that's a good clear from him. He's getting bumped, so we got to go ball. He missed the ball. we got to go slow here. Just control it. Get a good flick. That is a good flick. And it's a goal. <clears throat> we'll do a really hard cheat and see if we can catch him off guard. Just get a 50 here. Lost control of it when it. I thought it was gonna hit ceiling harder, so I waited for it. We're gonna get boost and uh, play the touch. Good job from teammate. Oops, backflipped on accident. Let's see if we can get a bump here. Kind of. He definitely doesn't have full control. That's not in yet. Oh, what a touch! Teammate should have. Probably saw that coming. He had full boost. I think he just didn't expect him to actually have it. We'll jump for this. I could tell he went and got that boost, so not even gonna worry about it. 
Tactile's not super close. I'm just gonna fake this. He floated. I thought he was gonna land. Uh oh. So that's good. The teammate got that boost. We're gonna wait for the 50. He gets it around him. He's just gonna keep going, I guess. Just fine. It might be a goal though. I thought I touched that. I felt like I touched that. But that's just uh, not not the greatest decision making from teammate there to take it to the wall. He had the he had the net at least an, an attempt on net available. But that's okay. All right, teammate, you got the boost. I'm gonna stay present. Missed all the pads. Not not the best. Uh, that's really bad for me. That should be a goal down the field. Yeah. Yeah. That whole sequence started with my egregious mistake. But that's classic. Classic talisman gameplay right there. Last minute. Absolutely throwing. Alright, let's see if we can get it back. I couldn't hear him coming for the bump. But uh, I just could like sense it like somebody's gonna come somebody's gonna bump. I don't know why I couldn't actually hear it though It's kind of just handing them the ball Let's See if we can get it to teammate nice I actually went for that bump on purpose so That was a little lucky that I didn't uh, <laughs> that I didn't bump him right into the touch, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Never give up. Ooh, if I had followed it. Ah, I thought maybe he'd keep it up, but. It's a smart move for him not to. We'll do a soft cheat this time, see what happens. Just gonna bang it off the backboard. I didn't think he'd be get there fast enough. Teammate got a beat out, so. <sighs> I thought I got through. I'm still falling, so I need this to be a good 50. Try to back off once I see teammate commit for that. Whew. Turn on this, get a hard touch. Wait mid. I don't want to wait any longer than that. I'm going to take it around this way actually. This mid should spawn soon. It's gonna be a blast downfield. He played good position in there. That should be game. Oh, he missed. Whew. Oh man, nice. Teammate carried there in the last minute, but. Uh, I don't know how we came back from that, but I'll take it. That's a, that's a good game. That's a good game to some degree. All right, we'll jump into the next game. 
and then we'll do some pro analysis. <sighs> All right, I kid you not that I tried to get a second game in for you guys. And then the second game, we went down 3-1. My teammate starts own goaling and gives up. I tried to queue another game, and my teammate drives up the sidewall off of the very first kickoff, and we get scored on. And then we go down 2-0, and he abandons. Like, I kid you not, this is the kind of stuff that, like, you just, just brain-dead kids... Like, and here I am trying my hardest to rank up, and I have to go up against this garbage. Now I'm l I'm literally 100 MMR down from what I was at three days ago. But we're gonna try to keep it level-headed. Try to keep trying. It's just it's tough, man. We're giving this guy too much space. You see me getting bumped, you gotta go for the ball. Alright, he's got no boost. But he still goes for that. That's insane. I had you, bro. I had you on the back wall. Uh. Alright. Down 1 0 again. I'm trying to get the. He got the bump on me and the demo. And the, the ball. What am I saying? The ball and the boost. Try to push this high. Get it around him. Teammate should have at least tried there, I think. I guess that's my bad. I thought I thought after I couldn't really see from that angle as you can tell. I couldn't really see teammate until after the shot. I thought surely he's on his way back, but I guess not. We're gonna get the boost. We're gonna get in here. We're not gonna put one on net yet because he's there. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Sometimes if we slow it down a little bit, they slow down. Teammate's gonna be back on defense no matter what, so. Ah, just gonna leave. Messed up my first touch. Holy, ah, I'm just as bad as him. All right, we got to go on the board. Everything's good. Sounds like he's cheating. So, we'll leave that mid boost for him. What a save. Probably put it into the easiest place to save in the net, which is unfortunate. But I heard. His teammate coming up behind me. Felt like I needed to get a shot off quickly. You have a ball. Kind of got bumped there, unfortunately. Holy. Alright, well, they should stop the press in a second. Pass it back towards the middle of the field. Try to signal the teammate that I'm not going for that. It's gonna boom it. Gotta stay in net here. Whew. He's gonna get there first, so. Dang. That's such an unlucky touch. I thought I could get it past him, which I was, I was close.
past one. Just gonna have to take this to the corner. Dodge demo. JC's just going, so. the way baby rip it he's coming back wow oh, not a good touch I should have pushed it further up we've had some real chances Let's see if this gets there. Nice. Good finish. Yeah, I mean, they have seven saves. That was a good bump from him to pull the guy out of the net. Let's see if we can close this out. It's half decent kickoff. I'm not going to get in there. Unfortunate. Whoo wee. Oh, shoot. Alright, we got overtime. He wants to shoot. Holy. Didn't quite get the power slide into the boost. Ooh, got a timer going off. Can't really uh, turn it off, unfortunately. Alright, I had to go AFK to turn that timer off for you guys. to not go for that touch because I saw a teammate in the corner of my eye coming back for it so that's a crazy touch push it right gosh dang it dude I can't stay alive against these guys Doing, buddy. All right. Just gonna fire one top of net. Grab some boost. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna turn. I guess I'm just slow. Like everybody reads the game faster than me. Maybe. I'll go around him though because he was floating for the 50. Okay. Pulled him out for the boost, but teammate couldn't get it on that. Okay, he's just gonna go back, I guess. Alright, well. Supposedly we're gonna have a lot to learn. I mean, this guy, three goals, eight saves. I don't know. I, I can't win at any rank apparently. So we definitely need the pro analysis because I'm basically GC1 again. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in GC1 territory. I'm on my like relegation game, but catch you guys in the analysis and hopefully we have something to learn.
All right, we got apparently Jack and LM's two pros against Radisson and Matane, two other pros. So it's a full pro lobby. We're watching apparently Jack's point of view, and it should be a good game. I have not seen it, so this is the first time I've watched it. We're just noticing things that pertain to what we can improve in our game. Control touch in the midfield. That that relates to what I was saying, how I probably would have just put, thrown away possession there, but he controlled that touch. A little bit of a, a mistake there. I think he... I was going to say he stays closer to net than I would have before he... He waits for the play to develop more before he goes for the boost. But I think he actually went for the boost a little too soon. Ends up being unable to get back to it, so... I do think I can improve in that sense of trying to stay more towards the center of the field rather than the sidewalls so that you can make a play on your net if you need to. All right, we tied it up. LM's got kickoff. We got a hard cheat coming through, and that's an unfortunate bounce, but he makes it work. So that's just good patience. I think we're relatively patient on offense. We sometimes get very impatient on defense, though. So he got that boost, and he right away goes in to get onto the play. Right? So making it very clear what you're doing so your teammate knows. I could definitely do a better job at that. Again, instead of just blasting it downfield, he has a control touch. He stays close to the teammate, right? He's pulling up all the way almost to the goalie box, right? Once the play slows down because he starts going for the reset in the aerial, you know, it's possible if 50 goes wild, but it's likely not going to go all the way downfield. And if it does, it's not going to be fast enough that it's just going to go straight in the net. So he pulls pretty close to the play once it slows down because he knows he can recover if he needs to. Good patient back wall defense. Looking for a 50 if they were to challenge. Quick, quick pre-jump. That, that was really fast. A lot of these aerials in the midfield are, are mostly... He's mostly just trying to beat one guy. And let his teammate follow it up. I think... My... Current... Outlook is like, I'm trying to score. But that doesn't really make sense, with, especially with high-level defense. Really, it's a it's more of a chess game, right? Try to get past one guy, then take a look at net. If net's not open, get past him again. Take boost advantage, right? It's not just going to be a easy shot on net. So I, I do tend to throw shots on net prematurely. And it ends up just being passes to the other team. And I think apparently Jack is, is very clearly trying to just beat out a guy. And then, potentially, they'll have an open shot on net. I need to do better at a recovery like that. I, I would probably try to finish it out and go fully through the underside or the top side of the goal for like a squishy save uh, recovery. But he just holds power slide and lets his momentum carry him back down to the ground and half flips out of it. It's, like, it's so much faster. Again, I probably would have just tried to blast that on net and try to like, you know, trust in my... Uh, accuracy but the problem with really hard shots on net when you're close to the net is that if you do not score it's often either just redirected really hard downfield by the other team or blasted into the back wall and it's hard for your teammate to follow it up good demo he's also not chasing demos 
out independent of the flow of the play. He's looking for a bump within the flow of the play. It's a great challenge by Redosin. Might be a goal. Yeah. 4-3 lead for Apjack and Alems. Who I believe is a Spanish player? I'm not sure. Huge pre-jump by Radisson. Radisson. I'm going to say Radisson. I know some people call him Radisson, but I don't, I don't think that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if you know. After this game, by the way, we're going to look. We're going to see if we can find any high-level stats that Ball Chasing offers that indicate a, some sort of difference in general approach to the game. That's a good shot. Not a great shot, apparently. <laughs> Sees Alums downfield and, and tries to pass to him. Passing in 2v2 is one of those things that, like, I wish people did it more. But it's really hard to trust your teammate to even, like, consider a pass. Most players just want to do a bunch of 1v1. Or a bunch of 1v2, I guess. Which can be fun, but uh, it makes even, like, considering passes a little bit sus. We haven't seen too many like sidewall 50s to kind of see if he does anything differently. The corner play, I can tell he tries to get it uh, like off the wall a little bit. There's there been three times now that he he just does a soft touch, pops it out towards the towards the boost or towards the sidewall, but off the wall so that it's not as awkward. He probably doesn't even think about that like uh, consciously, but tries to get the ball in a position that it's not it's not an awkward approach well that was weird <laughs> we can learn from alums there alums aware that apparently jack is going for something kind of odd so he just hangs out he just hangs out and waits for the play to unfold a little bit and as soon as he realizes you know what's going to happen then he takes over he doesn't just blindly go in great save See there, Alems followed that soft touch up, but like, <laughs> oh jeez, going out with style. All right, Apjack. So I, I think the three big things for me is that one is like playing the long game, right? We're not just trying to, to blast shots at net, right? These are good defenders. There's usually a guy back. So, you know, a, a slow controlled play to get past one, maybe a 50, and then you know, reassess the situation with your teammate. The second one is in the midfield going for more controlled touches instead of just trying to prevent the other team from pushing downfield by kicking it back to them. So less passing to the other team essentially. You might think you're clearing it and, you know, relieving your team of defensive of offensive pressure, but really you're just giving the ball back to the other team. And I you as in I'm saying me right um and then going for bumps and opposing boosts like stealing bump stealing boosts and going for bumps within the flow of the play not chasing it uh and not artificially trying to create opportunities to do that uh you know apjack one of the best and i think we learned a lot from him all right thanks for watching guys i'm just gonna keep going in free play and I will catch you in the next one. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and we'll see if we get anywhere close to Supersonic Legend within the next few months. Peace.